Now in this palm reading, I'm going to go over a particularly interesting and unique palmer marking uh, known as the pentagram. And I'm going to provide a couple of possible interpretations as to the reason and meaning for uh, how this um, particularly fascinating palmer marking appears. And this person sent me their palm quite some time ago now um, for a reading. And they've thankfully, they sent me several images and two of which have uh, white powder uh, all over the, the hands and it, and it shows up the hand in a very, very different way. Now, I love this because palm prints and pictures of palms both display very different information. And in some ways, there's pros and cons, I suppose. In some ways, a picture is better. In other ways, a print's better. And you can see here, notice how in between the first two fingers here, um, you can see it clearly there's a bit of a gap there. And, uh, and again... Uh, obviously, with a low set Mercury, there's a gap there between uh, Apollo and Mercury there as well. Notice in this image, there's actually what looks like a double headline coming down from Jupiter there. Now, that is, to me, that's absolutely fascinating. Because if we look on the left hand in the, in the photograph, we don't see that so much. But what we do see is this stunningly powerful triangle in the middle of the head and the heart line and it's in the plane of mars it's in an interesting place it's an interesting palmer marking in itself and it's powerful enough it's isolated enough for it to have a, a unique and specific meaning here and i'm going to get to the bottom of this as well now i just want to clear up something because I feel like there are two kind of schools of thought in terms of um, palmer markings and, and, and the, um, the creation of these in the palms. Some people feel that if they are created by lots of different converging lines, then the, the meaning, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. Whereas others feel and can draw um, meanings from lots of things they see in the palm. And you could argue that, well, actually being a many-lined palm you could probably find several pentagrams in this palm because of lots of convergence uh, lots of lines crossing over it is significant to some degree but the more isolated the marking as you see here with this triangle the more profound the meaning so i i kind of lie in in the middle of of these two kind of schools of thought i do prescribe some meaning to it more so if it's sort of isolated uh, where it presents itself, as this one does. And obviously, this is created out of the convergence of other lines, one of them being possibly a double headline. But it's stronger where it forms the shape itself. And that, for me, is profound. So before I get into the meaning of uh, stars and triangles in palmistry and what they mean specifically in uh, this person's palm, and I'm already picking up on things as I speak here, so I'm going to try not to derail. I want to talk about this person, uh, their character, their sort of template in itself before looking at more depth at the chirology. So let's look at the chirognomy. So looking at the hand shape and... Uh, finger shape as well as as well as looking at the skin here uh, I mean first of all it's a fire hand the palm is very long the fingers are long as well but they're not quite long enough to um, uh, to classify as long fingers and that's because they don't they're not long enough uh, to be seven lengths of the palm or longer they don't quite reach that far so this is a, a fire hand however this is a very deep thinking uh, fire hand because they're longer fingers than normal for a fire hand and uh, the fact that these two middle fingers lean closely towards each other uh, Jupiter as well is a little bit on the short side and if we compare it to the other right hand image you know I mean that that's at a bit of an angle here the angle is a little bit misleading because you can see in this image Mercury doesn't reach the first phalanx of Apollo However, in this image, it does. So, you know, the angle can often distort findings. However, this is somewhat of a shortish Jupiter finger. It doesn't quite reach past uh, the first, um, past halfway of the first phalanx of Saturn. It leans in as well. 
And, uh, you know, this, these are all signs here of uh, low self-esteem, someone who deeply cares about others as well. And the fate line um, does also indicate uh, towards that as well, it coming from low down in lunar and it curves as it comes up towards the, the palm as well. And this is always seen in people's hands who are carers, nurses and doctors as well. These are people that consider others and they get great job satisfaction out of um, or satisfaction in general out of supporting and helping others to live their lives to the fullest. So this person, for me, I feel like they've had a poor relationship with their father when they grew up. This had a detrimental effect on the way that they express themselves and feel about themselves. And in a way to sort of compensate for this, they uh, have turned themselves outwards uh, in, in helping other people. And I'm glad for that. This is a real testament to their character because things could have come very differently for this person. Now, this person, I know a few things about them because of what they sent me in their email. And that is that they are 18. They live in India. They're a female. And uh, they have, they wanted to know about their sort of career and whether or not they would land in an administrative role. And obviously what the uh, pentagram means down here. And the pentagram here it really sort of crosses into Luna and Mars. And that's significant because of what this triangle means as well. So I'll get into what these things mean. But what I know about this person, really, I feel from looking at this palm now, I'm going to get a bit more into the chirology. I feel that there is a great purpose here. And obviously we have a many lined hand. And that means, as I've already said, this person is very sensitive. They're a warrior as in they are quite anxious and they think in the future quite a lot. They probably worry unnecessarily. And this has a knock-on effect on their uh, physiology as well. And this is quite common in uh, anxious people's hands, people with a nervous dis disposition. When you look at the mercury uh, line or mercury lines, you'll see uh, a couple of sort of upward strokes. And uh, here is the area of digestion and when you see several upward strokes in in this area I mean, you know we see one or two here it does represent uh, gut issues and and that again that ties in with someone with a, a nervous disposition anxiety causes uh, bowel irritation also there are several travel lines probably uh, they should be more appropriately called restless lines because when we become restless, we have the desire to travel, but it's not always necessarily a physical uh, need to um, change our environment. Sometimes we need to change uh, what's uh, within, but this is on the right hand. So this is more a sort of practical and physical uh, representation of that change. So it is more accurate to call these travel lines in this instance. And I think this person uh, may not have uh, desires to travel. Let's have a look. So we see here on the right hand and any lines kind of branching away from the lifeline uh, often into Luna often shows us uh, that that sort of travel and on the left hand we see it very clearly and the left hand is what's internal so this shows us this person does have what seems like at least a desire to travel uh, and and the way I read palms is really uh, uh, and this just works for me this is my personal way of doing things and it's not to say it's the right way of doing things but this is the way I do it the right hand for me, I read always as the dominant hand. And that's because it's always worked for me until I find, um, you know, that's if, if I find something doesn't work in palmistry, I reevaluate. So for me, this uh, branching out here uh, from the lifeline, and you can see it down here, perhaps at about the age of 55, right low down into Luna and off as well into uh, another area of Luna as well, and it kind of feels as though this is inspired by some event that's uh, close to home as it comes from the family ring. But this is in the left hand, and this is this is quite interesting to me because it looks quite profound, it looks quite deep and indented, and yet this person is only 18, and the palm generally shows us this is what's going to happen uh, if you keep going the way you're going. So for it to be quite powerful, quite indented at the age of 55 when they're only 18 at the moment, 
for me, that's quite profound. So some people, I, and this again, this is my interpretation, have a more uh, predestination than others, if that makes sense. Some people have um, are more fated than others. I feel some people carve their own destiny, whereas others have no choice. So I kind of sit on the fence with that one as, as well, but that's because of what the palms present to me. So and, and you can see it clearly with certain people's palms. They are fated. So I quite, quite recently did a reading for um, on Arnold Schwarzenegger's hands, and his palms to me look as though he's someone who's carved his own destiny. Uh, and it wasn't a great reading, I, I'll admit. But with certain people, you can really see that there is a destiny. There is um, no sort of... Uh, their fatalism that's what i'm looking for so with this person that's that's what i see here and that's partly because if you look and i've already mentioned uh, that the fate line here the career line it stems from low down into and interestingly if you look closely it actually uh, starts lower down than one might think so if you look here here's one of them and then here is the other. And that second, that deeper line, it's quite fascinating, really, because it, it it stems from low down into Pluto. And this is someone who is said to have, um, in Eastern palmistry, come back, uh, reincarnated with a purpose, unfinished business from a past life, uh, drives some sort of unconscious determination within them. That's That's kind of what that means here. However, there does appear to be what looks like that's either a doubling of the fate line at the end of the life, uh, doubling of the lifeline at the end of the lifeline, or a, or another fate line. I'm more inclined to believe that that's uh, a fate line as well, uh, because it's more common to see uh, the doubling of fate lines as well as where it kind of originates from as well, and it looks like it's, and I say originate because of it's deeper from below so it the where a line comes from it's uh, shown by its depth and its strength and and it can so, sort of see it trailing off uh, as it rises upwards so we know the direction so that's how we determine i feel anyway that that's a fate line so it's this is a fascinating palm for for many reasons this is a highly uh, mysterious person. I don't, I don't want to say complex because they are complex, but that's a very vague term. This is a mysterious person because there's a lot about this person they haven't realized yet about themselves. And there's also a lot about this person that they have already realized. I feel like they already know there's some sort of underlying feeling about themselves um, in terms of what they should be doing, where they should be going, uh, what they should be training in and learning about. They are highly uh, spiritual, and that can be seen by a few things. Firstly, uh, the low self-esteem actually is, is is some sort of uh, signifier of this, because it shows this person understands that there is a much higher power uh, out there, a greater force um, in, in the universe. They are... but you know, a, a small uh, speck in uh, the vast expanse of energy around them. They are aware that they are actually uh, very insignificant in the world. And that's what that kind of shows. But also, um, look here, there's a square on the tip of Jupiter. I mean, it's, it's fascinating. Uh, this really, it shows amongst other signs as well, that they have a, a, an interest in the occult. And that, again, is another signifier of, um, you know, this... Um, spiritual sort of awareness a very spiritual person but it also its squares are protective they box things off they uh, close things in they uh, shield from harm and and it shows a potential uh, protection in an area of occultism so an extremist um, spiritual or religious occultism they might be uh, practicing something that's potentially quite dangerous and this protects them against these sort of extremist elements. So I would advise that this person exercises extreme caution because although this square is a good thing, it you know 
things can change in the palms. There are other clear signs that this person is uh, interested in the occult, uh, the occult, I should say, black magic, the dark arts, call it what you will. Here is a Solomon's ring. It's not all that strong. However, it is kind of, again, uh, sort of boxed off here by lots of uh, neat and convenient convergence of lines. Again, you know, take from that what you will. For me, it's 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 profound to some degree. But what's interesting is it is is created out of the convergence of intuition and uh, interest. So I feel like with great wisdom, this person is protected. They're protecting themselves. It's all uh, coming together here, but at the same time, I feel like I could read this palm for a very long time and still only scratch the surface. There's so much to uncover here. In the left hand, it shows a fate line that reaches deep down onto Luna, but there is a, a, a restless or travel line here that reaches over, creates a square, and then forms this fate line that rises upwards. There's a little triangle that's attached to it as well. So I feel like this person perhaps moved when they were young, um, maybe in their teens, perhaps, and uh, there was uh, uh, there's obviously protection around this time, and then there's this um, sort of boost towards their um, fortune at this time in in terms of their their chosen path, uh, and it's it's fascinating for me because when we look at the left hand with all this sort of white powder on it, we don't really see this. Um, pentagram at all and partly that's due to uh, you know the, the clarity of this image but also that perhaps does spell uh, just how potentially um, this doesn't actually is not actually all that profound however I do think there is some significance to this marking because I do think that, you know, that image is very blurry and it's just very difficult to see. And obviously this person has seen it in their own hand and and felt the need to uh, raise this issue. So that in itself is probably quite important. But looking at this image here, it's actually boxed off itself. This pentagram is boxed off. It is created out of uh, the convergence of many other crossing lines and it's not all that isolated. So whilst it's extremely important, I feel like there's lots of things at play. There's, this is one of the obvious, for me, obvious signs that this is a highly spiritual person. But look at this star and where it's positioned. Not a star, sorry, it's a pentagram. And you see that the lines, look at the uh, career lines here, rising up on the left hand. This person has an idea as to where they want to go, what they want to be, who they are, uh, what's within. There's a hidden force within them, and I think they're actually quite aware of this. I think they're very in touch with um, nature. I think they're highly spiritual. I think they're some sort of initiate, and I think they feel as though there is um, room within themselves, within their imagination, their subconscious, to uh, see um to uh, move through a kind of portal if you like they are experimenting in areas that most people are not aware of and they are understanding and wise in uh, practicing literally uh, magic this is actually i would say the hand of a born magician and that sounds crazy to me in a way i can't believe i've just said that but it uh, it's hard to explain all the strongest signs seem to point towards this and they circled yet another uh, very blurred out kind of pentagram here as well potentially seen on the left hand but what we can see looking at this image here is a clearly a defined uh, teacher square they're born out of wisdom knowledge insight and intuition what the pentagram does mean when it's uh, powerful enough, when it's isolated enough, uh, indented enough, and, and let's say for argument's sake that it is here, although I'm not completely convinced, but the more I look at it, the more I feel like it is profound. Look, all signs seem to point towards this. It, it depends what it means in certain areas of the palm. Now, in different um, 
schools of thought, the pentagram means lots of different things depending on where you come from, uh, your culture and your heritage. Um, so it can mean in uh, to some people the five uh, senses, the, the five elements. It can uh, be linked to um, a sort of a, a portal to another world, another way of thinking, not thinking, feeling, perceiving. And, and I feel like this is, it's, it's the sign of the eternal student, the eternal initiative. And, and again, all signs seem to point towards this, the person who would come back from a past life to relearn, re-understand unfinished business has meant that this person has lessons yet to learn. This soul has come back to um, to carry out uh, perhaps an unfinished spell. It's just it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I know it is, but this for me is an absolutely fascinating part, particularly because they're so young and yet some of the signs ahead of them are so strong. Luna, it's crossing Luna and Mars, and Luna is this place of imagination and uh, creativity um mars is obviously it's a place of um you know social battles if you like so creativity is the bravery to say what if and mars is where we fight so when we mix the two it's almost as though this person has an ability to um create in some sort of sense of Mm. the tapping into their unconscious to create and to affect um to affect their environment to affect the lives of others that literally this is the sign of a spell caster that's the best way that i can really summarize what this marking means in this particular area i you know and I, again i can't believe i'm really saying all this because i like to think i'm quite a logical and rational person but at the same time i can't argue with what i'm getting from this and i'm only really gonna say what the palms tell me the square formulated here on the third phalanx of mercury really shows us this is a person who is extremely secretive and um, keeps their cards close to their chest they have an ability to um this is mysticism again they have an ability to affect the lives of others for good or bad and I feel like luckily this person is actually a very a, a well-natured person because if they weren't, they could potentially cause uh, great harm to others. They have a great power in in the uh, deep within, and with great power comes great responsibility. And often there is always a price uh, to pay, and that is why this person has uh, several hurdles. Uh, that they will have to face and it's said that in order to you know obtain knowledge and wisdom we have to go through trials and tribulations and that's what this person is fated to do it seems now this person's headline is long as we have already discovered there is a secondary headline it's not as uh, indented but it's certainly there and it shows us this person has a great mental um prowess uh, they can think in a sort of separate way to uh, suit a separate environment, a separate way of working, thinking. Uh, they present themselves very differently in one environment to another. This upper headline is how they uh, present themselves to the outside world, whereas this lower one is uh, who they really are, and the lower one uh, reaches lower into Luna which shows us uh, that this person has um, a more kind of imaginative way of thinking than they kind of present themselves. Both headlines are extremely long, and that shows us a couple of things. Firstly, that they are potentially obsessive, lateral thinking, uh, deep planners. They think ahead, and that I've already explained because they're a many-lined hand. They're very sort of anxious. They live in the future. Whenever we fear something, we live in the future, but also fear... Uh, shows this person has great imagination without fear we have the inability to think well okay what happened what if and again so all of these things are 
combined and connected imagination, creativity, fear and, and anxiety. Someone who has extreme bravery often has no imagination. They're willing to walk through a minefield because they don't have the ability to say to themselves, well, okay, what if I get blown up? And so, I mean, that's a very sort of brief example as to the differences of a many-lined and uh, an empty palm. But also what this long headline means uh, is it is an indication of someone whose uh, mental faculties, their ideas, their imagination, um, their decisions affect or potentially could affect the lives of many. And a very long headline, a headline as long as this, is um, known to be a sign of uh, one of the signs of fame in palmistry because so far reaching are their ideas, are their decisions that they affect a, a, a great many amount of lives. So it's one of the signs that doesn't mean this person is necessarily going to be famous. However, the fingers here, Apollo and Jupiter, do uh, reach the same, they are the same height as far as I can see. And that again is uh, another sign of fame in palmistry, at least one of my signs. And so I feel like this person has, or will achieve at least, um, results in um, whatever it is their ambitions, their path to quite a high standard affecting the lives, influencing the lives of many. Now this triangle that we see here in Mars itself, triangle, a triangle in Mars like this, it uh, represents an ability to um, move tactically in an area of, it, it shows uh, military tactical prowess, if you like. They would make um, a good military commander had their headline been that bit straighter, had they not been so sensitive. This person is a very sensitive and caring individual. That's not the path for them. However, this triangle, I feel like in another sense, when a person is involved in what could potentially be some sort of magical conflict, if you like, some sort of psychic warfare, perhaps, it could be that this person has a gift at um, being able to utilise their um, mystical um, and mysterious talents and uh, uses this to um, project and propel themselves because this triangle seems to be connected to their career as well as an extremely impactful and uh, important potentially uh, karmic event in their life at the age that they are around about now. 18, perhaps 19, this in any case is either around the corner for them or it's occurring right now because it looks as though the age they are uh, around about now, 18, 19, we see here, here's the event here and coming from this event is a line that creates uh, the top of this triangle and when you look closer it's actually more like a sort of an hourglass here. It's profound in any case, the lifeline and the headline begin to break away at this time. This person is forging their uh, independence. They are uh, carving their identity in the world at the moment. And it seems as though there's a move about to occur for them, quite literally. And I feel like this is a step in the right direction, but a direction they actually have no real control over because it seems completely sort of fated it's 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 just a fascinating palm i mean i i can't really even get to the bottom of this one but from th from this and you know whatever it is they're studying at the moment has managed to excel them they, they they've managed to form opportunities within their career which will boost them as well everything plays a part here because we see this rising line up to saturn here uh this um effort line, ambition line, rising up to Saturn in it, and, that, and that's what this shows us, and it, all together it kind of forms, um, it helps form this, it's, it's all part of it, because that's connected there, 
and then right in the center of this protection we've got this triangle for me this is significant and again i feel like this sort of magical warfare if you like that they might get themselves involved in has this great sense of protection all around it so from this age the age they're at now up until the age of around about 37 i feel like their entire life is is protected there's a great change after this time for them so this age around about they are that they are now 18 to 19 is one of these karmic years there's great change coming for them and then again it happens it occurs at about 37 there'll be a great change here now this secondary change is a bit more, is a different change altogether this is a bit more jarring it's a bit more physical we can see the lines interrupted we can see obstruction here this is more potentially um physically practically jarring now the fate line in palmistry it acts as a kind of a spinal barometer as well as many other things and when we see it make this jarring change in its course it can be an indicator sometimes for potentially uh, spinal damage or um, some sort of injury or accident now it's not to say that this is uh, you know life-threatening because i don't think it is but i think that's what this island uh, represents the time after this it will be there will be they'll be facing difficulties and it's a shock to the system but sometimes one door needs to close for another to open and as i say it's almost a fated necessary course for any kind of esoteric expert or magician um or someone that's receiving great wisdom and knowledge in you know and, and it's privy to this kind of um information they have to go through these trials and tribulations and as i say this person i feel like is there they are fated this is a, a karmic event and um they uh will be all right it'll be okay i don't want this person to worry about this because i know that they will when they read this when they hear this but things look much much better after this time and that, that's sort of what this box is for. It has a secondary meaning because although uh, it's it's connected to and formed out of this um, from 18 to 19 to 37, it's because of this entirety of this time. I suppose the lines can change. It is possible that, you know, this, this destiny changes. Perhaps I'm completely wrong about all this. And I would suggest that this person uses the, these uh, mystical and uh, completely powers for good and for good only. Go out of your way to cause positive effects on others' lives. And that way, it will reduce this uh, negative karmic effect on your life's path. And that's really what the square is all about here. It's it's showing that this person has the potential for good or evil. There's potential there either way. And so long as they use it for good, it will uh, benefit them. Not necessarily, it, it won't necessarily change this event here that uh, quite clearly uh, is, you know, shocking. But it will have an effect on their overall kind of um their their karma there's no doubt about that and we can see that after this age here the headline uh, changes direction they were thinking about the future they were thinking about you know planning ahead um making money thinking about their career things changed and they thought uh their uh, psychological makeup frame of mind their perspective changes and it, and it deeps into uh, a deeper potentially darker area the positive signs are that the mars lines here are utilized and drawn upon throughout this uh time of uh you know shocking physical change this person as i say they will be absolutely fine in the end and things look actually much much stronger towards uh, later life it's because of this um what sounds like quite an ominous and negative event in their life that a lot of good 
occurs, a lot of change happens, necessary change. They become the person they realize they are and who they should be and, and what they should do. It's because of these things that, you know, as I say, one door closes, another opens. This person uh, realizes, they, they begin to change their outlook and they realize what's actually important. They, um, they learn different things, they meet different people and they begin down a, a separate path altogether, one that they were always going to head down, it seems. So this event here, this island, seen after it on the lifeline, correlates to this island here in the headline. Uh, this is uh, obviously a time of uh, great uh, mental difficulty, and it correlates to this island here, seen on the lifeline as well. This is but a blip and a necessary uh, course of events for this person to achieve the great things that they will achieve. No pain, no gain, as they say. And this achievement will be, I believe, great wisdom and knowledge, and they will become uh, a teacher of a sort, a healer if they want to be. There could be a great many things, I think, if they wanted to be this person. And with that great power comes great responsibility. So my advice for this person is to utilize this um, potentially uh, very sort of mystical and uh, mysterious gift that they have, and that they're already on the course of learning, to um, for good. Because I, f I feel like this person has a, a direct, um, I don't know how to put this, karma feeds directly into the life that they are living, you know, right now. Mm. Difficult one. Very, very, very difficult reading. So fascinating palm. I hope that I've made sense here. I'm probably not. But, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'm still going to look at this and, and reevaluate. There's lots of things here that I'm not completely certain about. And, um, you know, there's just so much to learn from this palm in particular. So thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, I'm going to think on this one. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, let me know if you've got a pentagram in your palm as well, because perhaps you too have uh, some mysterious uh, ability to uh, open up doors into the unknown and uh, utilize the unforeseen forces around you. Thanks for watching. and I'll see you on the next one.